In this work, we're trying to rethink biomimetic design. So currently, when researchers build biohybrid robots, one of the predominant ways that people do this is by using a biomimetic strategy. Biomimetic is when we take existing structures in nature and try and recreate them in an engineered manner. We're mimicking either the function or the structure of those devices. Here, we've approached designing biohybrid mini rays. Biohybrid rays are where we've taken tissue cells, so in this case, cardiomyocytes, we've aligned them and patterned them onto a substrate, and then we've cut them into different modular fin shapes. Biomimetic design is the method where we can get the function from nature. Rays are made out of PDMS, where we can control the elasticity and the buoyancy by combining the specific ratio of them. Micropatin is the method where we use uh, soft lithography, uh, such as uh, el elastomatric stamps, and we can transfer the specific patterning to the dish, uh, the transfer the protein to the dish, and we can align the, the biological tissues along the, those uh, specific patterns. We want to understand what is the most efficient fin shape at swimming, and how do we think about designing devices that are naturally selected to work for the environment where they're going to be functioning at. To select for this process, we obviously can't wait on natural selection, that would take too long, so we've tried to replace the selection process that you see in nature with a machine learning directed optimization approach. You have a neural network model that you then inform using computational fluid dynamic simulations where you simulate both the fluids and the kinematics of your rays. You then use that as a data set to train a neural network. The neural network from there then makes an informed decision based on that information about what it thinks will be a good and a bad ray, and then makes a prediction about what it thinks will be the fastest ray swimming performance. By doing that, we're refining or re-allowing the machine learning model to understand what makes a good ray, and it creates an iterative loop where the machine learning model gets better and better and better at approximating what is Ray's actual function. So in some ways, we've removed the control of the scientists in deciding what is robotic design, and instead we've informed that using the structure function relationships underlying the process itself. Going to the laboratory scale, we then developed these tissue engineered biohybrid robots made out of cardiomyocytes and PDMS. The rays we designed using this machine learning directed optimization approach were approximately 85% as efficient as naturally occurring marine life forms. This is opposed to biomimetic rays, which were only 35% as efficient. So we saw an approximate doubling in how well our rays performed when we used this machine learning approach. Overall, we think that this is exciting as it, allowed, as it allows us to study not only rays, but can be applied to other robotic systems understanding how they operate in novel and new working environments, but can also be applied to other biological structures in the future and allow us to understand what's happening in the dish or what's happening in organ systems possibly in the clinic. By integrating cells, uh, we can mimic the biokinematics more precisely. In this paper, we established a new method to predict the performance uh, for the biohybrid robots.